Oh, right, that's lovely. Beautiful. Bismillah. Okay, folks, let's have a look at this part. While you have prisms, we're going to start off with a nice and easy one, which is the cuboid. For the cuboid, we should know the volume of this is just length times by the width times by the height. Okay. The concept of area of the face times by thickness, I'm going to introduce that for the other question of the prisms. That is a prism as well, but that's a very easy one. So let's just stick with the old easy formula. Volume of a cuboid is length times by width times by height. Nice simple formula from key stage 2 even. Alright, let's have a look at these questions here. Now, Mr. Sir, this is called a triangular prism. Triangular prism to work out its volume, you work out the area of the face. The face is the triangle at the front. And I call it times it by the thickness, meaning how thick the shape is basically. You can call it the length or width, whatever you want to call it up to you. I call it thickness, which I'll label in red T. So that's our triangular prism. Now, what is the area of this face here? <coughs> the area of the face is? It's the volume of the triangular prism. Area of what, what kind of face is the triangle? So we have the area of the base times by the? <coughs> all right, okay, so also don't, don't all rush at once with the answer, yeah? The area of base times by height divided by 2, that will give you the area of the face, and then you multiply it by the thickness, whatever that number is. T. Done. Next one. Okay, the next shape is a cylinder. Okay? Okay, a cylinder. So we have the volume of a cylinder. Now the volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the face. The face is a circular face. So the area of a circular face is pi r squared. That's the area of the face. Yeah. And then you have to multiply that by the thickness of the circle. So <coughs> time by T for thickness. The next one is a 3D shape based on a 3D shape based on a trapezium. It's called a trapezoid. Triangular prism, cylinder, or somebody said cylinder. Uh, okay, and, and the next one. Okay, left there. It's a <laughs> okay, the next one we have is a uh, trapezoid. Okay, right, the volume of this trapezoid is equal to. Now, what is the volume, what is the area of the trapezium face? We add up the parallel side, which is A and B, and then we divide it by 2, and times it by the height, which is here, and then we multiply it by the thickness. <laughs> right, so here's our three formulas here and the one baby basic formula at the top. Right, let's give you some give you a question on these now. Okay, right, let's give us some values. Let's choose a different colour. Now, our base for this triangular prism is <coughs> 10. The thickness is 100. And the height is? Five. Okay, this thickness here is ten meters, meters, and the radius. What's the radius in this one? The radius is going to be equal to three centimeters or three meters. Sorry. The trapezoid, trapezium side. The A at the bottom is equal to four. The B is equal to six. The height is equal to. 8 and the thickness is equal to 20. Let's now use these values to actually do a question on each one. Okay, folks, are we ready? Uh -huh. No, I guess. So the height of the triangle is 5 meters, the base was 10 meters, and the thickness was 100 meters. A really big top roll. Big one. A huge one. Huge one. <coughs> yeah. This is like a huge roll of 3 meter radius and 10 meters long. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this one is height is 8, uh, and the A is 4, and the base, and the top B is 6, T is 20 centimeters of this one. Is, is that um, R? Is that, is that 3? Yeah, R is 3, yeah. Okay, I'm ready to start the formula now. 
So the volume of the triangular prism is equal to base time by height, which is the base time by height, 10 times by 5. And then we divide it by 2 because it's a triangle. And then we multiply it by the thickness. What is the thickness? 100. 100. So 10 times by 5 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 times by 100 is? 200. Okay, meter squared. Next part. And if you want to color code it, that's your thickness. Okay, the thickness of this one is 10. <coughs> and the thickness of this one is 20. Let's put them in advance, Rich. Right, there we go. Next question, we're going to work out the volume of this huge roller. It's got a radius of 10 meters and a thickness of 10 meters. So what do we do? Pi r squared. What's pi? 3.14 to 2 decimal places, times by the radius squared. The radius is 3. Okay, that will give you the area of the face and then times it by the thickness of 10. So I need somebody brave. Do you want to tell me please? Okay, right. So I've got 282.2, not 0 Okay, right. So 3.14 times by 3 squared times by 10 is 282.6. I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. One little, uh, little error, not uh, one little task just test to you folks earlier. Uh, that meter squared, that's supposed to be meter squared. What's it supposed to be? Me to excuse that. I just tested to see if you're awake. Well, obviously you're asleep. I was thinking that, right? Yes, right, okay. So it's thinking it's meters, meters cubed. Remember, volume is in meters cubed, not meters squared. That's just me just testing you to make sure that you're awake. Come to that you're awake now. Now, next question. Okay, the volume of a trapezoid, you're going to add up the parallel sides, which is 4 out of 6, A and B. 4 out of 6. You're going to divide it by 2. Times it by the height, which is 8, and then times it by the thickness, which is 20. So 4 at 6 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times by 8 is 40, 40 times by 2, 20 is? 800. This is centimeters cubed because it started off as centimeters, centimeters cubed for the volume. So here we go, folks. Are we on this way? Okay, here the length is going to be equal to 2 meters, the width is 3 meters, and the height is 4 meters. So it'll be 2 times by 3 times by 4. 24. And that will give you 6 times by 4, and the volume is equal to 24, 24 meters cubed. Okay, why would you don't like meters powerful? That's not, we don't know, I guess. Okay, are we happy with those answers now? Right, okay, now I'll give you some questions to do now. Okay.